Hi, boys and girls. Today, we're going to continue working on our opinion writing. Our opinion writing, in our opinion writing, it's going to have one, two, three, four, five parts. Our first part is our introduction to teach our readers what we'll be writing about and what book we're talking about. The next sentence will be our opinion statement. This is where we share with our readers what we think. It's really important that good writers use strong words to describe what they think in their writing. The next part of our paragraph is what looks like the stuffing in an Oreo or the filling. It's really, really important to include good reasons and good evidence from your text to help support your opinion statement. When you share your opinion, you want everyone to believe that you are correct and you are right. So it's important to use the word because when you're sharing your reason, and lots of details from the text when you're sharing your evidence. The last part of your opinion writing paragraph will be your opinion conclusion. Your opinion conclusion sentence will sound very similar to your opinion statement in your second sentence of your paragraph. Today we get to add a lot more details to our writing, so I'm very excited. Remember yesterday we answered the question, who benefited the most from making the soup in bone button borscht? You have the option of deciding if the townspeople benefited most or the beggar benefited most. Yesterday, I decided I would write about the townspeople benefiting most, so I'm going to continue that writing today. If you decided to write about the beggar yesterday, that is totally okay because it's your opinion. Just make sure you continue talking about the same character or groups of characters in your whole paragraph. We want to make sure it makes sense for our readers. This is what I wrote yesterday. Bone Button Borscht is a story about a magical soup that nourishes a community. That's my introduction sentence. The next sentence I wrote is my opinion statement. I think townspeople benefit the most from making the soup. And I'm gonna include the word the townspeople so everyone knows I'm talking about the townspeople in this specific story, not just any townspeople. Now, this is today. Today is when we get to include our reasons and our evidence. Today, your job will be to write your reasoning sentence and your evidence sentences from the text. Now, why do I think the townspeople benefited the most? I'm going to need to use the word because in that sentence. I'm going, whoops, I'm going to use the phrase I think then I'm going to add the word because to support my reason. So, why do I think the townspeople benefited the most? I think the townspeople benefit the most from the soup. Now I'm going to add that really important word because, and I wrote it in blue so that you do not forget how important that word because is in your reasoning. So I think that the townspeople benefit the most from the soup because they work together. as a community. Remember, that word community was really important during our unit, so I know I like to include words from our unit in my writing. So let's go back and make sure it makes sense. I think the townspeople benefit the most from making the soup. I think the townspeople benefit the most from making the soup because they work together as a community. Now. We're going to make this a triple stuffed Oreo cookie with two pieces of evidence from the text. Now, these sentences do not need to be long and they do not need to use the word because. We just need to make sure we're using important evidence from the text that actually makes sense. So, now I'm going to go back to my evidence collector that we worked on a few days ago. This evidence collector is full of great reasons or evidence from the text about how the townspeople benefited from the soup. So, 
we can describe one, there's one, two, three, four options here, but I only need to choose one for my nice sentences in my paragraph. I'm going to say how they left their home, their houses or homes, because that was a really big change for them in their life. And then I'm going to describe how they learned how to share with one another and dance together. They learn how to share food together and they dance together. So it's kind of like they celebrated. I also really like this detail about how they learn to make soup without buttons. That's another great example of how they benefited from the soup. And one last idea is that they nourish their bodies all together. That word nourish is another important word in our unit that would be great for you to use in your writing. So I have one, two, three, four options here. I'm going to include one of my pieces of evidence of how they left their houses. I'll go back to my writing and include how the townspeople left their houses. Oops. And my next piece of evidence is going to include how they learned how to make soup together. And that's all we're going to write for today. Remember, you can use all of the important evidence that we collected from yesterday's video to help you support your idea from your evidence sentences. And remember, it's really important in your reasoning sentence that you use the word because. Let's go back and double check our sentences so far before we finish up our writing tomorrow. Bone Button Borscht is a short, sorry, Bone Button Borscht is a story about a magical soup that nourishes a community. I think the townspeople benefit the most from making the soup. I think the townspeople benefit the most from the soup because the, they work together as a community. The townspeople left their houses and they learned how to make soup together. Notice how I did not use the word I think in my evidence sentences. We should not use the word I think in our evidence sentences because you do not make up this thought on your own. We got these ideas right from the text. We got this evidence right from our text as a good reader and writer always does. You do not need to use the word I think in your evidence sentences. If we were in our classroom and you had the book in front of you, you could use the great details from the pictures and the story to help you pick out your evidence. But since we're online learning, we'll just use the evidence that Ms. Stenger has as an option, or you can go back and listen to the story again for even more evidence of the story. Thanks so much for working hard to collect your evidence and describe your reasoning using the word because. Today for your assignment, I want you to write these three sentences. You'll first start off with your reason using the word because, then add your evidence, then add your other evidence. If you're writing this down on a notebook, you can take a picture of the notebook of all five sentences you have so far. If you're typing on a computer, you can type those three sentences that you have so far. I'm so proud of you for working so hard today on your writing and keep up the wonderful work. Thank you so much, second graders.